Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about alternative remedies to urinary tract infections in babies. Now, I got to tell you, this is a really serious topic. Of life-threatening infections that occur in infants, many of them start in the urinary tract. Usually we know that an infant has a urinary tract infection, not because it burns when they pee like a grown-up, but because that infant presents to us with an unexplained fever. They have a fever that's defined as greater than 100.4 degrees on a rectal temperature or greater than uh, 38 degrees Celsius. And we have no idea why. The baby doesn't have a runny nose or a cough or cold symptoms or diarrhea. In those cases, it's very important to get a sterile sample of urine. Your doctor is not going to want to put a bag on the baby and catch urine that's got a little bit of poop in it. They're going to want to actually put a little tube, a catheter, up into the bladder, or in cases where that's impossible, even insert a needle through the skin down into the bladder to acquire sterile urine. Why do we have to do that? Because if we find that an infant has a urinary tract infection, that's a really big deal. That can lead to a bloodstream infection that can be life-threatening, or it can lead to an acute or chronic infection of the kidney that can ultimately lead to kidney failure, dialysis, and transplant in bad cases. So what do we want to do when we find those things? Well, I have some bad news. None of the therapy is alternative. The only right thing to do is to treat those babies aggressively with antibiotics. We are talking about life and death. This is survival. This is kidney failure. We are not playing with this stuff. It is real. So first of all, we want to aggressively treat the baby with IV or intramuscular antibiotics for a minimum of three days. In most cases, we hospitalize these infants until they're better. They're at very high risk of dehydration and complications when we don't. The second thing we want to do is see how the kidneys are functioning or what the kidney anatomy is. Now, this is a part of the field that's changing a little bit. Traditionally, we've done two studies for these babies. One, an ultrasound to look at the structure of the kidneys, and the other, a voiding cystourethrogram, which is called VCUG, and that squirts dye up into the bladder to see if the connection between the bladder and the kidneys is normal. If that connection is abnormal, and it often is in these cases, sometimes we want to continue antibiotics for long periods of time or even consider surgery to make that connection more normal and prevent urinary tract infection. Now, in a newer protocol, doctors are going to a nuclear medicine scan, a DMSA scan of the kidneys, to see if there's any damage or chronic infection, and using that to guide the rest of the therapy. So you're going to want to talk to your baby's doctor about which therapeutic modality is going to work best, which uh, way they want to look for damage and decide what to do next. But here's the bottom line. If your infant has a urinary tract infection, that is serious. Do not mess around. Make sure that he or she gets appropriate antibiotics and appropriate studies to make sure that he or she is not at risk of losing one or two kidneys or dying of the infection. This is Dr. David Hill talking about kidney infections in your baby.